your husband screwing around on you. I hope your I hope your husband is sleeping with your best friend. I love it that your kids actually have to hear about what evil things you're doing. I hope I hope they have to hear it every day. When liberals talk about the Republican war on women, Representative Michelle Lichens thinks about that clip on Liberal Talk Radio last year. I mean, this guy went off on everything. Now, where were the feminist organizations defending me? Where were the feminist organizations defending um, Lieutenant Governor Clayfish when the same radio guy went off on her in it, it, just a, a very disgusting manner? So we, as conservatives, never have that feminist protection that the left has. You know, they just treat us very differently. But I think we're strong enough we can handle it. Lichens has been a magnet for attacks from the left. It didn't help when she decided not to run for re-election so she could devote more attention to raising her children. I think it's the fact that conservative women are happy with the choice they make. They don't feel any less of themselves because they chose, after getting a college degree, they chose to you know, stay home and raise their children and then go back into the workforce. Um, they're happy with that choice. And for some reason, I think the Democrats especially Democrat women, are angry with us who choose to make our children a priority. You know, right now they're accusing me of not being able to handle the heat. Um, the left women are calling saying that I have to quit this job because I can't handle the protesters. That is so far from the truth. And I've loved every minute of that down here as well as in my district. Um, but I'm choosing to spend more of my nights at home with my kids and telling my son that he cannot play any more Call of Duty, you know, instead of going to a town board meeting. So that's a choice I'm making and I'm very comfortable with that. But yet the left has to attack me for that as well. Under state law, if a company discriminates against a person, the state forces that company to compensate them. Lichens voted for a bill that does not allow that person to then go on and sue the company for additional compensation in state court. Liberals are trying to use this to claim Lichens is anti-woman. It is illegal in state statute and federal law to discriminate against anyone for a raise or hiring practice if you are a female or a minority or a protected class. It is illegal. We did not change that at all. And uh, for years, you have been able to file a claim with the Department of Workforce Development if you feel that um, you didn't get a job because you were um, a white male, or if you, you know, felt that you didn't get a job because you were a female, and at no cost to you at all, they would pursue, they would investigate that, and if they found that you were right, they could guarantee your job back. They could guarantee you up to two years of back pay at no cost to you. And if you really wanted to punish that employer, you could pursue, um, through federal court, punitive damages. And it is a little bit more difficult, but that's protecting both the claimant and the employer because that employer is stuck with a legal fee immediately when you file, which sometimes is tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And at the state level, they made that punitive damage mandatory. And it's so much easier to file in state court that people were really filing frivolous law lawsuits against um, potential employers. And the employer thought it was cheaper to write them a check than to pay for an attorney for two, three, four years to go through the court system. Lichens says after she explains that to concerned constituents, they're able to see through the rhetoric. She believes most women won't fall for the left's attempt to portray a Republican war on women. But that doesn't mean the rhetoric will go away anytime soon. Let me tell you something about these Barbies, the Republicans trot out. You know, the Rebecca Clayfishes and the Sarah Palins, Michelle Bachmans. They've got a little formula, and, here, and here's what it is. They drag these women out, and the women throw rocks, right? They throw stones, and Michelle Lichens is way off the right end of the spectrum, much like Palin, and it's a formula. How could you say that about her? How could you? How could you? How could you say she's a mean person? She's a mother. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.